television series about, I think, the organs? Well, actually, that was a series that we did um, six different episodes of six shows. So it's 36 all together, less one, because we ran into a time thing. With the Matsqui, uh, uh, whatever, the cable company, right? And it was uh, Gal Margaret Wawra, which is the Wawra family here in Good old Abbotsford, she actually even has a bench in historic downtown that's got her name on it. Uh, she was taking the free lessons with us and she was uh, the host of it and we called it the Sounds of Music. Excellent. So what did you guys talk about during your show? Well, basically what it was is it was a takeoff of the free lesson. Right? So we would take, um, of course all the camera people were volunteer and they used their truck. Right, which is the, around the area and just pulled it in as a recording center. So we had an overhead and a couple floor cameras and I would basically take what we used to do as a full lesson and away we would go right with it. So it would start out very simple and then I would just keep adding to it and explaining different things could be done with the organs or keyboards and we had guests on as well right, from different companies. Oh, who were some of your guests? <laughs> we had um, early days where right, we had a fellow from Korg, right, who was a uh, uh, one of their um, star performers kind of situation, I don't remember names at all, had Bill Brooks out of uh, Noteworthy Music, he did an uh, episode on MIDI and computers and early days of hooking the uh, keyboards up to computers, and we're going back into the early 90s, late 80s. And the um how did it come about that you even had the idea to do the cable show? Was that you or who, who was that behind well, the driving force? Well, that was Margaret Wara was the driving force. She originally was trying to get uh, the cable company to come down to Seven Oaks with their mobile and just do a recording of our, actually, of our free lessons, right? And uh, from that, the director thought, well, why don't you put together a little show? And she was sort of doing artsy things, right, art shows. And, so she did, she just put together a little show and it always started with uh, uh, the theme from uh, Music Box Dancer by Frank Mills and it uh, always ended with that little theme and, and it started with her always doing a little interview similar to what you're doing with me now and just asking some questions about music or that kind of stuff and then we would go off and we'd do this little segment lesson. Eventually the show was picked up uh, when Masque Cable was sold to uh, Rogers it was eventually picked up by Rogers and uh, they actually syndicated it across the country. So there was actually the odd time I'd get somebody from outside of BC, Saskatchewan or something that would recognize me or on holiday and think, hey, are you the guy that's on TV? <laughs> <laughs> cool. Well, why don't you play us out with a bit of Music Box Dancer? Oh, okay. well, if I no pressure, pressure though. But... <laughs> I can remember, right?